video i am going to show you how to create a robot this is the second step the first step you have to log in yourself in this url in my previous video i showed different url because that is orchestrated 2016 version but this is 2018 version this is the very latest version so let me go with this 2018 version so by using this url you have to register yourself okay that is our first step in the orchestrator training so after that click on the robot now we are going to create a robot okay for that just click on this okay if you click on this uh, plus button you will get a page like this this is a key this is a unique identification of robot key okay uh, i tell you later about this key the machine name and here you have to give your machine name how to get your machine name just to go to my computer okay right click on this get properties this is my machine name uh, you can change whatever you like uh, that is a different topic so I'm going to copy this machine name the full computer name copy this uh, then come here uh, just paste on here <coughs> the machine name why we have to give machine name means the ro where the robot is installed so the robot is we are installed in this computer because uh, this is my personal computer here i am running my orchestrator and a robot in the same computer but if in your organization the um, robot will exit in different computers and your orchestrator will be in a um, central uh, uh, some other computer because orchestrators are globally monitoring all the robots so um, you have to give the desktop name where your robot installed so name the name is the we have, we have to give a name for the robot for this particular robot we already completed a program for calculator the calculator program going to execute for demo purpose so i'm going to give a name as a calculator robo Cal calculator hyphen arbo robo then domain username this is domain or uh, username means um, um, in the, this is my personal computer so i have my i have to give my login id my login id my login id is saravanan okay if you are connected with the organization then your domain also you have to uh, give so password password for this particular computer for entering this uh, username okay this is your windows username this is your windows password and type of your uh, um, <coughs> robot for this i am choosing development and description that is no optional one so i am giving test so here is the important thing this is just a name for that particular robot this is name for that uh, machine name where the um, uh, robot installed and this is the uh, computer login other uh, that means user login name where the robot installed and this is post password then click provision okay now we created on robot the status is disconnected 